story behind it is before I came to Strathallan, uh, I was in another high school. And before, like some primary seven, I had written this album and I made loads of CDs and I went to this high school. And for the first two months, I almost felt really popular that like everybody wanted one. So I was just handing them out for free. And somebody was like, you should make a Facebook page to promote yourself. So I did. And I think that gave everybody who wasn't liking what I was doing an opportunity to be really vocal and horrible about it. The first night that I made the page, I remember just reading screeds and screeds of really horrible stuff. And eventually that turned into kind of in-person bullying as well. Then I managed to get out. Um, Strath took me in on a music scholarship and, and it really changed my life. But even still, throughout all the years up until about 2019, I was still kind of trying to deal with it and understand what had happened to me. Um, it made me feel really low about myself and less, lesser than everybody else, I suppose. So then I left school and I, I, I'd just taken the time to process it a little bit and I wrote this song. It, it, it helped me to heal, which is a funny thing to say, but I've always said that songwriting for me is really cathartic and you know helps me process stuff. But I'd never known that to really be true until I wrote Stairs. And then to put it out in the world and have conversations with people that have gone through similar things or playing it live on this tour and having people come up to me after the shows and being like, I've gone through a similar thing. Um, and hearing you, hearing you sing about it feels like it helps a little bit or like makes me feel less alone. I think that's what music's all about. So it's been amazing releasing it and being able to tell that story. Yeah, I'm very lucky with music because I'm getting better at it now. But over the years, I've definitely learned to like bottle everything up has been has been something that I do that probably isn't so helpful. So when I write, you know, that's always my way of getting out and, and expressing the thing. So I think to have any kind of creative, you know, outlet is really important. You know, whether that be like drawing a picture or writing a poem. Um, again, for for me, it's writing a song and pouring everything into into something. Um, but I suppose what it really comes down to is getting the emotion out. And I think that the most important thing we can do is probably speak to each other. And if something you know doesn't feel right, we feel trapped. I think to just get it out and have that conversation with people, because ultimately, when you're in that dark space, I think you feel like you're the only one that's going through it or that nobody else could understand because it feels so dark and consuming for you. But ultimately, most of us go through these feelings and we don't even know that because we don't share it with each other. So I think it's really important to just open up, whether that be creatively or sitting down with like a friend or someone that you can trust and just speaking. Because, you know, my mum always says, uh, a problem shared is a problem halved. And... Uh, I definitely, I definitely agree with that. I think to just voice it in the first place can give you so much clarity um, and comfort, really. So yeah, do something creative and try and speak to people. That those are those are my two those are my two tips, I guess. Well, this one was a song that I wrote with my good friend, Lewis Ross. And we'd written a song in the morning of the session and we absolutely smashed it. And I thought, okay, we've got time to write another song. So I was having a think about something that I'd really like to write about. And I remembered that my best friend from Strath was moving to London. And I was feeling kind of, at this point in my life, a bit kind of stuck. You know, I, I, was, loving, I was loving my job, but it wasn't in the music industry, you know, and that's what I always wanted to do. And so I was seeing this person who I loved go off and, and strive somewhere else. And I kind of felt a bit left behind. So we went back into the room and had a good chat with Lewis about it. And we ended up writing this song. But really, as much as it's a song about getting left behind and I guess feeling lonely, it's also a celebration of friendship and love because I think when you miss somebody or you're upset that they're no longer as present in your life, I think that that means that you care for them immensely. And I think ultimately that's a beautiful thing. So when that's taken away, I think it 
it's a reminder of how beautiful the thing that you had in the first place was. Waiting on a dream that will never come Let's hope for my sake that I figure it out There's nothing quite like the thought of living without You promised you would call Left me hanging around But I've got to reach it now and So it's a bit more of an exciting song to listen to than Stairs. Like it's upbeat, it's got it's got more of a band kind of feel to it with like big drums and guitars. Um, but I really hope everybody likes it. I'm really excited about it. Um, you can find it on Spotify and Apple Music. Uh, if you want to follow me on social media, it's uh, Blair Davy Music. Um, but yeah, just come and have a listen to the music and I hope you connect with it. Thanks so much for having me.